Insights, Managing Director of Equity Research at Wedbush Securities. He joins us now. He upgraded Tesla overnight to a buy from neutral while upping the price target to 1000 from 950 Dan, good morning. Thanks. Great to be here. All right. What do you think of the delivery numbers? They certainly topped your expectations. I thought it was a paradigm changer. I mean, if there was a quarter given chip shortage supply issues, that they were going to run into any sort of blockade, it was going to be one Q. I mean, these numbers were massively ahead of Whisper, especially on Model 3 and Model Y. I think right now we're looking close to not just 850, potentially 900 K for the year. Your trajectory this out, I think it's a green tidal wave. It's an inflection in terms of what we're seeing in the stock and the sector. And that's why we, you know, not just put to a thousand dollar price target upgrade, but it's one of our top ideas now. For Wedbush, I think there's a stock that could be at 50, 60 percent the next year. The semiconductor shortage we've been talking about so much, so closely. Um, when you look at the production numbers for the quarter, were, was there impact there, or was that really just more the shift to the next generation of SNX vehicles? Yeah, that's a great question. I think it was about a seven to ten percent headwind in terms of the quarter, especially we saw that on S and X. And you trajectory that out. I think without the chip shortage, we're looking at a number with the two in front of it, two hundred K. It's a green tidal wave right now. And I think what we're continuing to see, even though it's been a brutal, painful sell for EV and for Tesla, I think that's in the rearview mirror here. I this is not just a paradigm change in terms of the quarter. Looking forward, I think this right now is a company that's really hitting its next stride of growth. And especially when we look out with Model Y, Cybertruck in China, that's the linchpin. We think China's worth potentially up to $150 per share. Mm, I'm glad you just brought up China because you, you keep mentioning the green tidal wave here. And I, I think, and maybe this is because uh, I'm sitting here in the U.S., in New Jersey right now, but I keep hearing green tidal wave and I keep thinking it, that's a U.S. story. But how much of that is for Tesla, a China story, and perhaps even more than that, uh, just a sign that as we see the recovery is basically in many ways further along there, um, how does it speak to the strength that we could see here? If yeah, and last week, Biden kicked off the green tidal wave in the U.S., which yeah. is obviously lagged behind U.S. and China. You look at China, that's the linchpin to the bull story. I mean, that's 4.5% of automobiles today. We think going to 10% the next three years it's not just going to be Tesla that benefits, Neo, Xping, and others. And that's why right now you take a step back, you look at this EV global market. We're just sort of in the first, second inning of this playing out. And that's why I think Tesla continues to sort of lead the charge here. I look at Friday as really a game changer, not just for Tesla, but for the EV sector. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.